Hello, all my beautiful Virgo Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your August 1st through 15th, 2022 reading. Remember, this is a collective energy for all Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. That means if you'd like a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. So let's see what August brings in for us, my Virgo friends. Ooh. So we have the Queen of Swords, which is the energy of being very much in connection to divine. And if you're in for a job interview or a public speaking, this is your moment. You shine like a rock star. This is connecting to your inner light, your inner source, and making a difference. Showing that you have the capability and the skill to articulate and be very charismatic. Then you have the energy of the Nine of Wands. It feels like you've been run up against a brick wall for a hot minute, but that's okay because you're a Virgo and you're pretty stubborn. So hang in there. It's about to have the breakthrough. You're as close as you can possibly get before the, the burden is lifted. So let's see what else we have, my friends. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, Eight of Rods, fast-moving energy, coming in very quickly, like out of out of the blue in every direction, just raining down blessings on you with this energy. This is new, fast-moving energy and opportunities. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages. Hello. And we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You're always welcome and very appreciated. And we have Overthinking It. This is <laughs> the Overanalysis Paralysis card. Let yourself go into divine mind. That's what this is telling you. That's why she's got a blindfold on, the Eight of Swords. It's saying focus on the inner outcome that you want to receive and stop trying to grab it from the exterior. This, the only way you're going to get to where you want to be is through within yourself. That's the higher energy and being focused in your divine connection to source and not trying to do it in your physical form, right? You got to do it energetically. You'll be grasping at straws if you do it the other way, just, dra just driving yourself crazy. And the Three of Cups, this is a seraphim, and they are pouring two beautiful cups into your cup to overflow it. So we'll take a double blessing from the seraphim. The seraphim are earth angels. They are made of, of elements, so they are, they're elemental. So salt, sulfur, and mercury, those are the alchemical ingredients to change lead into gold. So they're giving you a double portion of that kind of wonderful magic. And the seven of wands. Stand your ground and don't, don't let yourself be swayed. Don't let any drama en encroach into your peaceful household. Bar the door and say, nope, if you can't get along, you can't stay here. And we have the Page of Wands. So this is action being told to you, what to do, how to do it, when to be there. Usually this is a job offer. It's an offer of some kind. So we like that, the Page of Rods reaching out. There's your beautiful Virgo queen. You are the pinnacles. That is your sign. So being in the energy of this financial security and stability where you might not have been before, now you absolutely feel very, very solid and stable in that energy. And the seven of cups. This is the blessings in abundance, the, the dump truck load of blessings. This is what I call it. Um, it's literally like everything you ever asked for shows up. At the same time, you're, if, when, so when your doorbell rings, it ain't Avon. <laughs> Bring a shovel and a wheelbarrow. You're going to need it. <laughs> so we have the hangman, which is the energy of just take a, take a good look at it all and know that it is what you asked for. Stay positive and stay in your divine mind. Look at the bigger picture. This is only temporary. You got to do the work, though, before you get to the payoff. We have the Five of Wands, which is either competition 
or a little bit of infighting going on. This may be somebody expressing their strong opinion, but you're not by yourself on this. So stand your ground. You've got somebody backing you up. This is just somebody pushing their weight around. Two of Cups is divine alignment. So when you're in this energy in your work life, this means what you're doing for a living is exactly what you should be doing. And you are aligned with others at your work to help you to succeed each other. You're working together with each other to help everyone come out and on the best possible outcome on the other side. And there's your Virgo Hermit being in your in your. Uh, energy of consulting with your inner light, your inner spirit, as you move down the path. Remember, it's okay to ask the universe to help you to get more understanding. This light is helping you not to step off into this chasm here. So always be cautious and allow your inner self to guide you and listen to it and not ignore it when it, when it shows up. Hey, you remember that nine of rods you had at the beginning? Well, there's your ten. So the burden is being lifted. You get to have all that heaviness off your back. As you move forward, you're no longer feeling like the whole world is on your back. We love that energy. Releasing the burden, the struggle, struggle is over. So just remember... Don't go trying to find another thing to, to get and heap back up on your back just because you feel uncomfortable that you feel a thousand pounds lighter, right? It's going to feel different at first. Let yourself get used to the new normal. The Eight of Cups. This is a graduation energy, so something that you've been waiting to finish so that you can get past it. You're now in that open energy as the moon here is showing you the whole horizon. This is a yes from the universe for you to be able to move forward. It is an eight. So that does align with, with August. So it is saying, you know, this is the time we're about to get to move forward. So don't freak yourself out with those swords. Allow yourself to get out of your left brain and get into your divine mind. Meditation is the key, my friends. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So, Queen of Swords. This is where you're able to really, this is clarity. You've got your center focus. You know where you're headed. And like I said earlier, when that the Queen of Swords is the energy of being very much in a place where you can stand and deliver. So, being articulate and being able to speak appropriately in front of people is a beautiful energy. Whether it's a job interview, where you're speaking to one person, or in front of a crowd of thousands. This is your ability to do that. And, and your knowledge is what you're using as a basis for what you're talking about. So you have no problem because you already have the experience. We have the Eight of Cups, which is the energy of standing Past what you have had to overcome, remember that was the first card that showed up. So the fact that it's showing up again is telling you, it's confirming. You are finally getting the yes from the universe. You can move forward with whatever's been blocking your path. We have the Three of Cups, just like we had here. And there it is again. So it's echoing the same energy. A double blessing and a celebration. So stay positive. The Tower. This is something new coming in that's allowing you to get past something that's been blocking you or releasing you from something that's held you captive. The lightning strike energy coming in and it means that it's being swept out of the way. So whatever this little page is coming to tell you, it's usually the, having to do with something that's having a new, whole new redo. This is change and, and letting you restructure something that wasn't working. So we're happy for it to change. The Two of Pentacles is telling you you're in the flow. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Your finances are, are moving forward. Don't let the chaos and distraction of other people, usually family and friends, don't let, and even the world, the world is in chaos. Don't let yourself worry about what what's going on over here when you are, you can't sacrifice yourself. This is really important. 
you may take take exception to some of the things that are going on politically or even uh yeah, the the climate change. All you may really feel this this energy of panic, or that you need to to just drop everything and go throw yourself on it. You know, don't do that because you're not equipped for that. Don't sacrifice yourself because of something just because you feel so impassioned and you just don't know what to do other than to go charge at it like a bull. You can't go at it head first. Allow yourself. To keep yourself in order, and if you want to do something, support the people who are already on the front line. Don't sacrifice yourself, because you, what you'll do is you'll end up jumping over the, the side and trying to swim out there to that boat. You may drown on the way. If you actually make it, well, then you're still in the same boat they're in. You didn't do anything for yourself, and you didn't save them. You actually sacrificed everything you've gained. So, not time for sacrifice. Not self-sacrifice. Nine of rods again. Remember, you've got the ten, so it's showing up to tell you that it feels like a burden even though you're getting everything you want. Because it requires you to be present and, and deal with all of the little tiny details. The three of pentacles is telling you to keep yourself Focused on, on making everything exactly the way it should be as you lay the initial foundation. Because once you lay the foundation, that's what's going to make sure that your building is, is or your whatever you're putting on that foundation, is able to stand and, and not have any issues. Sagittarius Major Arcana, the Temperance card is here. And she's here to help bring in synchronicity. So that's going to help with that Five of Rods energy. So she's literally allowing everything to move in the right direction. You've got the Ace of Pentacles coming in here. So this is a very good energy with that alignment and, and everyone on the same page. So resurrection of your financial abundance here. It could be a new energy for someone having a new job. And there's the Ten of Rods again. So you have the Ten of Rods twice. You have the Nine of Rods twice. And you have the Ten of Rods twice. So that's telling you the burden is definitely coming off your shoulders. And the Page of Cups. So this is the universe and the wave of abundance. And he's got the fish in the cup, which is telling you you will be provided for. It will continuously flow. As, as long as you believe that the universe is working in your favor and conspiring on your behalf, you constantly in the energy of that happening. Remember, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. And you deserve it. Many blessings to you, my Virgo friends. You have a lot of wonderful energy out here. A lot of change, but still wonderful energy. Lots of financial abundance. Lots of energy moving things forward and releasing you from that feeling of being having everything just squashing you down. So let yourself breathe and stand upright and get used to the new way because that is the way to be. Many blessings to you all. Love, light, peace, happiness, joy, and abundance to you all. I'll see you again in the middle of the month, my friends. Namaste.